G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thank you for being here today. I am gonna play with some UV resin today. I it's it's not really something I've used a lot of, so I thought I'd try it today. Um, and totally inspired today from the lovely lady from Tea and Art again. Hello! Let me know what your name is down in the comments, please. <laughs> Instead of saying the lady. So um, she did the raindrop effect again with some UV resin. And I thought, oh, what a brilliant idea because you don't have to wait for so long, you know, for, for your little droplets to set up. Because it's such a tiny little amount of, um, of resin that you're using, isn't it? So um, I'm go I've got four coaster cavities. I'm going to do, actually maybe it's easy to take that off. I'm going to do four different colours. Oh, look at that. All right, here we go. Let's let's pour some of this out. Don't need a lot. We're only going to do droplets, so just enough to cover the bottom there, as opposed to covering the top. <laughs> Actually, I'll do a little bit more, a little bit more, just in case. Just in case I decide I want to do something else with it. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, why not? Okay, there we go. There's a little blob in the bottom there. All right, so that's just the Let's Resin, UV resin. Um, now, um, this this coaster mold is a geode shape, and it's also got the um, druzy crystal edge, which I thought would look pretty. Um, now, colours. I want to do two with gold edges and two with silver edges, I'm thinking. So the first one, and I'm going to put one in each of my little cups. The first one I'm going to use is this pale blue aquamarine opal from Ice Resin and then I've just got some silver, holographic silver from Larissi. Now, we need such a small amount. Don't need a lot. I'm going to put a tiny bit in first. I don't want to overpower the resin with colour. You know what I mean? Because it's only a tiny bit of resin. So we'll see what that looks like first. I'll, I'll mix it later. Let's just do them all first. Um, that one's with that. Let's put those there for a minute. And then the next one is going to be the darker blue. Um, Peridot opal with some crystal opal. Arcadax, also from Ice Resin. And I'll just add a bit of each of these. Maybe a bit more. I don't know, you guys. I'm just playing, just having some fun. I love it when I can get inspired by another artist. Love it. Okay, so that's that one there. Let's see how that goes. Um, and then the next one is going to be my golds. So I've got some gold um, oh, little flakes, I guess, from Laresi. And this one's Fire Opal. Kind of looks a bit greenish in there, but I think with the gold, it... actually no, that's not the one I was using. I wanted to use, I think this one, this one, because that's quite chunky. I'm going to add a bit of this. Uh, Studio, Gla... Studio J Glitter Lemon Essence from the Fairy Dust Collection. So let's see how that goes. This is the... this kind of looks a bit greenish to me, and it's kind of a bit chunky. So we'll combat that chunkiness with a little bit of this fine glitter like so there we go <laughs> all right so that's those two there and then the last one i've got this gold glitter um what can I put with it? I need to put something with it. I don't want it just gold glitter. Um, I'll go and see what I've got. Maybe maybe a bit of pink. I've got some pink topaz also from Ice Resin. So let's see how that looks. Let me clean off my little stick there. I won't put the lids on everything just yet, just in case I need to add a little bit more of something. But, um, yeah, I don't, don't think I'm going to need a lot. All right, let's stir all these together. Actually, I should stir really carefully, shouldn't I? <laughs> so we don't get bubbles. Okay, so that one could do with a little bit more pink. 
never done this with UV resin before. I put it in a little cup. It's a great idea, really, because, you know, then you don't have to wait for things to cure, like for hours. You can just get a project done, can't you? I've cleaned off my little stick. Okay, I'll add a bit more. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably out of shot. A little bit more. I'd rather add slowly, you know, rather than make it too dense. Because I want to be able to see. I want to be able to see through, you know. I want the transparency there, so. That's that one. Wipe this off. This one's looking as if it's going to need some more, but we'll mix it first. I'm not getting a lot of gold from that. I'm really not. I might add some of this. That's better. I like the blinginess of the gold. That's better. It's got a little bit of that darker, opal-y kind of a look in there. I think that'll be fine. It's good that I'm using these up, these little containers, because I really haven't done much with them at all. So it's good that I'm using them up. That one needs more of both. A little bit more of that one. It's good that they stick to the resin. <laughs> okay, now, did you see when I did my animal print? little raindrops um, didn't really get the 3d look because I didn't use clear now I was planning on doing a white background with these like the lady from tea and art did she did a white background which I thought looked really stunning um, but when you when you don't have a, a clear background, you do lose that 3D look, which is what I've found. Let me just pop the lids on these. Actually, a little bit more pink in that one. I always overdo it, don't I? Always. Yeah, so you lose that 3D look if you don't put a clear background on it. That's what I found. Anyway, that's what I found when I was doing my animal print um, because I put, I put a black background on it. So I, lo I did lose that 3D effect. Um, that doesn't go on there. Where's this go? Aquamarine. Let me just tidy these up for a sec. All right, that's all put away, lids back on. Um, I've got my UV lamp. It's got lots and lots of lights inside. Hello, <laughs> it's talking to me. Hi. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, so. I started off with one that only it was only little and only had a few little lamps and um, it didn't really cure very well for me so I I looked it up um, this one's called blue Q professional nail lamp and um, as I said it's got lots of lamps and it's got really high amp or wattage so yeah I think that's a good one all right um, now let's just give these each a little little torch there's no doubt some bubbles in there Hope it's okay to torch UV resin. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I've got the stick in this one, so let's just start. Um, and some little droplets, I guess. I'm going to have lots left over. It's going to take a while, so just bear with me. Bear with me. Or you can fast forward. I'm going to do some big, some little. Um, probably don't put them too close to each other to begin with because they, they will spread. And you don't know how much they're going to spread until after you've done them so probably don't don't start off too close together or too big would be my suggestion not that I really know <laughs> I'm no expert at this so I'm gonna have some bit bigger and some a bit smaller and now I'm just trying to decide as I'm doing this I'm trying to decide what color background I should do um, the problem is if I do clear um, you're not going to see the the drops because the drops are clear. So, and if I do a an opaque colour 
like I did with my leopard print or my animal print, um, they just end up looking flat. So, yeah, I have to have a I have to have a little think about what I want to do there. What color? I was I was thinking maybe um, just a very very sort of transparent white maybe. I'm trying to make small drops and it's just not happening. They're all going to be big. So yeah, I was thinking maybe just like a more transparent kind of a, a white, not so opaque. But I don't know whether that would be any different, like if it would make the droplets look 3D still. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm going to, I'll have to experiment a little bit more with the, with the technique. But if you guys have done it, um, feel free to leave a little comment down below. Happy to hear about what you've done. Uh, try and put a little teensy wincy ones in there. I don't know, they might join up, I don't know. <laughs> they could join up together. A little teensy wincy ones in there. A little teensy wincy one there. <laughs> the little tiny ones haven't got enough glitter in them. Okay, how's that? Yeah, I think that's enough for that one. Got a little bit left. And I don't have to worry about it going off because I can just let it sit somewhere and um, come back to it in another day, can't I? Yes. All right, now let's let's do these. Um, I'm just going to pop that over there like so. I'm going to pop it on for 60 seconds. Um, and then, do you think I can start the next one while that's doing it? Yeah, why not? Let's, let's do this corner over here while that's doing its thing. I don't see why we can't. So this is the pink and gold over here. Little droplets. See if you don't put enough glitter in, you, you don't really see see the glitter, see the effects. So I think you know you need to have a decent amount in there, but not, not too much. It's really hard to do something randomly, you know, like just to place things randomly. It's really hard. It's harder than you think. Without look, making them look placed. So for this one, as you can see, I'm just doing little drops, balls. If you wanted to, you could get your stick and like pull forward and make them into little teardrops like that one. I'm going to put that on for another 60 seconds. Um, now... I want to clean that little bit up there that I've dropped. So I'm just going to get my little silicon brush and just move that over a little bit. And we'll keep going. Feel free to fast forward by all means. I won't mind. I won't know. <laughs> Oh, I wish you guys could talk to me. I really don't know what colour to do the background. Yeah, because if I do if I do clear, you're not going to see the clear drops. It's just going to look like a clear coaster with little speckles of glitter here and there. You know what I mean? You're not going to actually see that 3D look. So that's what my issue is yeah I wonder how those if those are done or not I feel like I'm cooking I'm baking check to see if they're cooked it's really hard making them look not placed why haven't I got as much of this one as I have of the other one <laughs> wasn't to put as much in Scraping it out. Little drop there. Little drop there. What's that cute little drop, that one? Oh, let's see if I can do another cute little drop. I should can make sure it's got some glitter in it, though. No point doing a drop if there's nothing in it. Okay, there he is. There he is. Okay, that's it. All right, let's check to see if these are done. Now, do we touch them? 
Do we poke them with, with a stick? I see, I'm, I'm really not used to using UV resin. Ah, it's hard. <laughs> How cool is that? Yay. All right. Um, let's do this one. Let's just put that there, eh? Let's do that one. All right. Um, because this is in the way, I'll just wait. I'll do the two minutes um, and then we'll do these two. All right, that one's should be done. Oh, I love that. I love that. These two have joined together. Oh, well. All right, uh, the stick's in this one, so let's do the light blue one next. Oh, Aquary kind of a colour. Do a few little drops at the same time, seeing as I've got enough on the stick. Maybe a bigger one over here, and a bigger one over there. I'm not placing. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just dabbing. Be careful you don't drip, hey. This is a really pretty colour. Loving this one. Whoops. Yeah, I'm still none the wiser. I was thinking about it when the two minutes was going on this pink one and I'm thinking, oh, I still don't know what colour I want to do. Little one. Whoops. Oh, gosh. Clean that up. Put my finger in some, squirt some alcohol on that finger and just clean that up. More finger, more alcohol on the finger, clean it off. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, there we go. So I'm hoping that they'll make a nice set, even though they're all different. They do have a couple of things that will tie them together. And one is the fact that they are the little droplets with the glitter in them. And the other is that they've got the, um, you know, the druzy edge around the coaster. So those two things should you know, draw the, the little story together. Running out of this one as well now. I have made a couple of bigger ones, haven't I? <laughs> I guess the good thing about this is <clears throat> you can just make up some more real quick, can't you? Yeah. Need another little droplet over there. Don't you touch, you two. Just quit it. Stay on your own sides there. Okay. I don't think I've got... How can I get one more out? One more. One more. Little baby drop. Just there. <laughs> and I hear was I thinking I was having... Plenty of UV resin. Plenty in the little cup. Okay, there we go. Clean that one off. And let's pop this over here. Making sure they're not touching anything else. 60 seconds. Oh, this is working well. These two and then that one. Oh, I should see the colour that's coming out of those. Through the UV. Oh my gosh. All right, now this one, has it got enough stuff in it? Uh, I don't know, I'm going to put a little bit more of this in. doesn't seem to be as glittery as everything else is. Ooh, just a few little drops of that glitter there. I guess it just, maybe I just didn't put as much, not much came into it, I guess. But um, yeah, you can put as much or as little glitter in as you want, but I do want that sort of um, transparency. Wish this thing would go ding when it's done, so that we'd know to put it on again. So yeah, I'm just doing two minutes. Be nice if it went ding, hey. 
and then you know you're done. Look, I could speed this up, I guess, but it's, it's not really taking that long, really, is it? It's not too bad. And you guys can fast forward if you wish. Oops, I've dripped a bit. I'll just spray some alcohol on the end of that little silicone brush and I'll just push it back in. Better option than sticking your fingers in it, isn't it? <laughs> it is! Don't stick your fingers in it! I don't like... Oh my gosh, now I've dripped. I've dripped again. Push that over. Push that over. Make it look a bit more like a drop. I think some of the UV is coming across into this one and setting it. it must be peeking through. A little bit there. Trying to get up to the side there so that we've got as much coverage as possible without having you know too many sort of blank spaces. Oops, a bit too much alcohol on that. So the problem with alcohol is it, it makes things spread. I'm just gonna take that out. The alcohol makes it spread. I'm going to clean that out. Actually, you're probably better just using this. Okay. I'll still put some alcohol on it just so that I can clean that, that up. Mm, making it worse. All right, time for the baby wipes. Time to get the baby wipes out. And here was I thinking I was doing well and not making a mess. human we make messes don't we <laughs> we do we make messes so it's okay and just clean it up clean it up go again no drama put a big one over on this side and then maybe a little Drippy in the middle there. Little one there. And I need a bit more. One there. Still want another one just in here though. So let's scrape. Gosh, next time. If I do this again, I'll make sure I put enough resin in the in the little cup, say. Hey? There you go. There you go. Don't touch that one. I haven't got much left here. <laughs> A little bit on the end of the toothpick. There we go. That's it. That's it. I did find that when I torched to get the bubbles out, it kind of got a skin on the side. Like, yeah, it got a skin. So, are we done with that one? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Because I wasn't sure if you could torch UV resin, but obviously you can't because, yeah, it got that little skin on it. So, not a good thing to do. Now, while that's doing its thing, I'm just cleaning off my tools here. Put those away. Clean my hands. Okay, I'm going to give this another minute. So they've each had two minutes. Um, and then I'll come back to you. 
All right, that's done. And uh, I realized I haven't done this one. So I grabbed my little cups and you know how I had some left from this one? Um, I just put a little tiny bit of um, gold in it and we'll do the middle one. I always forget my middle ones. I do. Maybe it can have slightly smaller droplets. But I don't want them all the same size. But it's a bit smaller than what we've got, I guess, in the others. Oh no, those are going to touch. No, don't. Don't touch. All right. Let's get you out. Actually, we'll just set that real quick and then I can just, I'll just pick it off. That'll be the best way, I think. Rather than trying to pick it out and clean it and then dry it and so on and so forth. <laughs> we'll just set it, cure it, pick it off, do it again. Okay? That's at one minute. Uh, let's see. Toothpick. It's a bit sticky on st on top, but um, that's that's fine. <laughs> it's out. It's out. All right, here we go. We'll try again. That was a good thinking, wasn't it? It was. This is fun, you guys. Oh, I like UV resin. I do. It's one of those things that you know you see other people doing, and you think, oh, it looks too hard, or looks, I don't know, just not for me. And then I thought, oh, I've got the UV resin. I've got the lamp. You know, I might as well, might as well use it. Okay, one more drop. Over there. Over there. Now go over there. Try not to touch the sides. Put one more tiny one in here, maybe. Okay, that's it. That's it. It looks so cute. <gasps> All right, let's do this again. Now I'm going to have to do 60 seconds on this one. Um, because most of them haven't had any at all. All done. Ta-da. Should we go down and have a look? Now, I think I've decided on what I want to do. Look how they... Are you going to come on, little lights? Are you going to come on? Come on. Look how they shine with the light. Look at that. They're just so gorgeous, aren't they? We don't need to do any more. Um, but yeah, you can see that they're nice and 3D looking. Um, I'm thinking, instead of plain white, I'm going to do a little bit of white, a little bit of grey, like very very transparent i'm going to kind of swirl them get like a marbling effect so yeah let's do that i'm going to mix up my resin and then um we'll do the next step so i've mixed up my platinum 360 plus uh i did might not fill them all the way i did 200 grams of a and 86 grams of b now um like I said, I want to do really, really, really transparent. So let's just, we'll just start with a tiny bit, okay? You can always add more. Just want it to be kind of wispy looking. See, see how you can still see the little streaks in there? Loving that. I don't know that it might need just a tiny bit more though. I'm going to try and keep those little streakies happening. I like that kind of look. Might not, might be too, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Alright, so that's the white. Um, we'll see how that goes. That's Angel White from Lorez. Um, oh, actually I need to put white in this one as well. 
I'm onto my next jar of black. Ah, gosh. Mm, yeah, it's, it's okay. Sometimes they go hard, you know, when they haven't used them for a while. I might not be able to use that. <laughs> that's all right. It just needs popping in some hot water, that's all. Now, the second one. Oops, same kind of thing. A little bit of, a little bit of white. And then a tiny bit of black. And I mean tiny. I'm just gonna get a toothpick. Oh, there we go, there we go. How's that? Toothpick in there. This is Cast and Craft. It's a nice runny one. Very liquidy, runny paste. That's not too dark. And I'm going to leave the streaks in it because I like that. This one, I think I need more white. I think I need more white. Just a touch, just a touch. I don't know. I haven't done this before. I just cleaned off my stick there. Here we go. And again, I'm going to stir and try and keep some of that streakiness. And then my other one is just clear. I don't know, you guys might still be too, too, um, too something. I don't know. Let's just pour some in. <laughs> Might be too transparent. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's pour some in. So the amount of white is double to the amount of the grey that I made. I'll just kind of spread that a bit. We don't need all that grey. Okay, a little bit more white. No rhyme or reason, just kind of breaking that grey up a little bit. Oh, need a bit more just to cover that. Oops, oh, you yeah, forgot you, I forgot you. There we go, there we go, there's some for you. But yeah, probably made up a little bit too much of the grey. We'll see. Okay, so that's that. I can come back and put more grey in if I want to, but yeah, but I may not. I may not use everything that I've mixed up. We're not a good idea just to put a blob on like that, is it? All right, let's pour a little bit more of the grey just to break that up. Like so. Trying to get a marbly effect. Now, because I haven't used... No, you don't need any more. Because I've used um, pigment paste and not mica powder, it shouldn't do that thing, you know, where the mica powder all rushes in from the outside and you get those lines. Which is great for some techniques, but for others, you know, you don't you don't want that. So now a bit of clear, just to give it a little bit more of a cool kind of design. And I have got some more clear left, so I may I may just pop a little bit more white into that. Where'd my white go? Oops, it's over here. Because I have got a little bit left. Actually, I'll keep that. I'll use this just in case I'll decide I want a little bit more of a different colour. Or some more clear. Let's add just a dinky bit there. Um, yeah, so just for, just for fun, you guys. Just for a little bit of difference. So we've stirred that up. Not all the way though, just so that it's um, 
still a little bit streaky. And the resin will move and change and, you know, do what it wants to do. So, it's no, there's no controlling it really. There, to a certain degree there is, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want any more of the grey. A bit more clear. Gosh, I'm dripping. It's almost to the top. Okay, a little bit more white. A little bit more white. I'm making a mess. So I haven't got much left in there, but I'm going to just add a little bit more white to that. Maybe a little bit more opaque. And just everybody can just have a little little drizzle of that one a little bit more opaque than the other white was and see I wonder what it's going to look like <laughs> I've been wanting to do a marbling effect video so this is kind of Two in one, isn't it? I get to kill two birds with one stone. Not that I would hurt any birds. I'm a bird lover. <laughs> I am. All right, that's it. Now, those lines should all kind of blur out and, and spread and do beautiful things like resin does. All right, let me clean up my mess. And I've got a tiny bit of grey left, but I, I'm not going to use it. I, I think there's enough grey in there. And um, I'll come back to you. Now there's a bit of a, a bit of a like a drop there. I don't like that, so we'll get rid of that. Anything you don't like, it's probably a good idea just to get rid of it now. If there's any parts that you don't particularly like, or there's a big blob or like a fish eye hole or something, then get get rid of it now before the resin finishes moving because it is going to keep moving. I will give it a, a light torch. I've got to clean off my gloves first because they're pretty grotty. Clean up all my sticks. Um, but yeah, I will, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I, I do have to wait till tomorrow now or maybe tonight, but no, I'll be busy. <laughs> all right, I'll see you tomorrow. It's the same day. I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. I, I'm too keen to see what these are going to look like. Now, I know they could probably get this going to look flat on the other side, but I'm hoping they're still going to be pretty. And it wasn't until like two minutes ago when I looked at this, I thought my background matches my coasters. <laughs> How funny is that? Oh, I must have been subconsciously thinking about doing that. Oh, I feel a bit sticky on the back. Hmm. My um, UV resin may not have been totally totally cured it feels a bit sticky all right i'm not going to put them down um we'll just flip it over i i can put them back under the uv lamp so hmm, i thought two minutes would have been fine but obviously wasn't on the other side anyway let's have a look and see what we've got here oh that's really pretty it's really delicate. Yeah, it's a bit sticky. <laughs> How weird's that? How weird is that? I wonder if when you when you do that, see how you can see you can see the circles. I wonder if that's just because it's UV resin. I wonder if you use like regular resin, will you get that? Because kind of feel as if it needs a top coat now. How cool is that? Anyway, I can put that down that way now because that side's not sticky. Loving this top. The bottom 
bottom not so much I feel as if I can see a little bit of the white paste but this side looks amazing <laughs> maybe I'll use this side we'll just, we'll just break, we'll forget that's in there okay we can just have this side no right now this was the gold one let's have a look at the gold one yes yeah, same thing because you know I didn't I didn't mix my white in all that well I know I didn't mix it all that well because I wanted it to be kind of streaky like this but the heavier white has kind of fallen through to the back it's a bit sticky too okay okay see I told you I was no good with the UV resin <laughs> oh that's pretty I like the blue one but yeah, no, um, no raised kind of look there at all. Still sticky. I do like I do like the um, the glitter effects. I, I just don't know about this the white that I can see. Oh, I don't know. It's how it is. Can't complain now. All right, this is the dark blue. But it's very different. Like I got a beautiful marbling effect on the on the top on this side, but on the other side, not so much. It's it's like the white paste has just kind of fallen through because it's heavier. Look, I'll know this for next time when I when I actually do want to do a marbling effect, I'll know just to use the top. So look, we've learned something. We have learned something today. It's always good when you can learn something. All right, let's get the little dude out. Um, I will link this mold in my description if you want this one with the, um, the druzy edge. Let's move it out of the way. All right, let's have a look at this little guy. Oh, it's so sweet. Look at it. It's really cute. All right, there they are. Okay, now my favorite. Oh, I think the pink one. I think the pink's my favorite. Um, I'm going to edge it in gold just because I can um, oh, I, forgot, I haven't got my lid on this is the deco color premium so um, I'll have to do something with the top later on maybe give it a top coat or stick it under the UV lamp but look I'm gonna um, I won't I won't keep these I do want to just show you the um, the crystal edge though but yeah, I, I won't. I won't spend any more time and, and money and effort on them, only because I'm not 100% happy with them. But there we go. Look at that. Now you can see the actual edge there. Hey, that's what it. That's what it looks like. It's all crystally and and druzy. If you have a clear coaster, like clear resin. You can see that really really well but because it's white it doesn't really stand out that much you can definitely see it now that I've put the gold on it but um, traditionally you, you can't really see it all that well unless it's clear or if you paint the side so let's just go around the top here like so with my pen and we'll see what it looks like since I put up the um, animal print one, a lot of people have said to me, do a reverse one. And I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, let's do that and see how we go with that. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, because I really like to get those 3D look. Um, I will do just a traditional water drop with clear resin um, because and then just put um, you know the chameleon powders on the color changing chameleon powders because I do think that you do get um, a slight 3d effect from that so I'll be doing that one here we go look at that it's, it's really pretty isn't it <laughs> I guess if you didn't know that the white wasn't supposed to be there then it wouldn't bother you but look I love pink and white and gold I just think it's so pretty and girly and feminine and elegant and all those all those words I just think it's gorgeous so let's continue painting this I'll just do this one I won't do them all waste my pen 
um, what was I saying? Oh, the reverse, <laughs> reverse rainbow, uh, reverse rainbow, reverse raindrop effect. So what I think I'll do is, oh, I've got a puppy crying, she's all right, she's all right, <laughs> she stopped, um, getting distracted here. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, because you can't, you can't really put down um, like the chameleon powders on top of the black because when you pour your clear on all the mica powders float to the surface and you lose that beautiful clear uh, resin finish on top so that's that's out but what about if I pick a chameleon color or um, like a holographic glitter something like that and mix it into my black there we're done um, and then pour that into the coaster let it set so it'll have like a, a shimmer and it'll be dark and then put the clear raindrops on that um, and then pour the clear resin oh see I don't think that'll work either because if you put if you're putting down clear raindrops and then you pour clear resin over the top you're not going to see the raindrops are you because it's clear raindrops clear resin you're not going to see that so hmm I don't think that's going to work either <laughs> okay this is going to need a little bit of a um, little bit of thinking outside the, the square here outside the box but um, yeah we'll see we'll see what I can come up with maybe it's just not meant to be maybe We'll just do these so anyway that it's it's really pretty oh should i do one of the silver ones i've got my silver pen there i was going to do a silver one as well this one or this i prefer this one so maybe i'll do that one this one in silver put my lid back on and this little guy because he's got blue and gold he would need to be gold but i do like this i should have just stuck to my plan and just done like a really really transparent white but I thought no let's do some marble and I really love that um, but that'll be for another video anyway um, I won't make you sit through and watch me paint silver all over this um, I'll just I'll do it and then I'll, I'll put up the photos afterwards so that you can see them but basically I hope we're focusing here It'd be terrible if we weren't focusing wouldn't it we're focusing you're on auto focus so I don't know and I can't see <laughs> so that's what the silver would look like I'll just go around the very edge here and then um, I'll finish it off on my own okay so that I'm not keeping you and then I need to go and feed the dogs because it's getting late um, and see what's for dinner start start dinner I guess a woman's work is never done is it Although my husband Dave, he's been helping me with chores so that I can concentrate on my videos and my mold making. So that's been great. How's this looking? I think they're quite cute regardless of not being exactly what I was going for. There we go. So there's the blue and the silver and the pink and the gold. Let me know what you think of these. Just move those out of the way so we can focus a bit better. They're growing on me. <laughs> they are growing on me. I do like them. <laughs> All right. I'll set them up for a photo shoot anyway tomorrow and I'll finish painting this side silver. And, um, and there you go. But they're really sparkly and they're really pretty and I do love them. They're just not what I was going for. <laughs> they do need a top coat, that's for sure. Definitely need a top coat. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you again real soon for the next video. Let me know in the comments below how you think we can get around the fact of trying to get a 3D look. Maybe it's just not possible. Maybe it's not. Who knows? All right. I oh, know I haven't got very good light here. Whoops. Turn that around so you can see a bit of silver. Okay. I'll take some good photos tomorrow when I've got some 
good light rather than all these shadows. And um, yeah, I will see you all for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Loved having you here in my studio with me. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.